hello guys so like a week back or so i made a video to show you guys how i get uh stock data specifically the statements income statements using an api and the method i showed you it's far more efficient than going in to copy and paste the data from the sec or from the company's website is by far faster than that but i still didn't really like it because i still had to go in manually to change the url for the api and even though it took like under 20 minutes to get it for 50 companies, to me that's still a lot of time and I was looking for something that was a bit faster and was more fully automated and I found something so I'm just like dying to like steal the beans and like show this to you guys. So I'm going to be using Nine. Nine actually has a nice little node that lets you query data using your API URLs. And it also has one to change the JSON code to a table so it's nice and understandable for you. And of course, column filter, filter to get rid of some stuff you don't want. And you can also write your data back to Excel. Now, how this is automated is you have the option. <laughs> I'm going to blur my API key here. Um, you have the option to take your URL columns from a table. So we're going to build a table that has the URLs for all my stocks. I'm going to go a bit slow since I, I want to show you guys actually how I'm doing it. Okay, so let us get started. So the first thing is we have to build our table with the URLs. These are the ticker symbols which I want to retrieve the income statement for. Okay, cool. In here, I have two columns. I have the URL prefix. So this is everything in the URL up until the ticker symbol. And I have my API key here, which is blacked out because you guys can't see that. So what I'm going to do now is I need to create a URL for every single one of these stocks. And I'm going to do that by using the nice concatenate function in Excel. So I'm going to concatenate the URL prefix. Okay. And then I'm going to add in the take a symbol because this is the structure of the URL from the example of the video. So I have to follow the structure to get the URLs for all these other symbols. And then finally, I need my API key. So that's H2, H2. Okay, so I have, my, I have my formula, but I do have to make sure I'm locking the reference to the prefix and also to the API key. So I'm just going to go in there and make those absolute. All right, so now when I click on this, it drags down and I have some nice URLs, which I'm blurring out the whole part which has my API key. So these are the URLs I need and I've checked them. They look good. So I have this. I'm just going to control copy and paste all the values just because I feel like I need to do that. It shouldn't affect mine really, but I just, yeah, I just want to do that. Okay, so my URLs are good to go. I'm going to save this file. Save. Fantastic. Okay, now we're going to bring in this file into Nime. So to do that, you need to use an I.O. node, which is the Excel reader. So pop this on here. Let's just shift it back here. And then let's go and find our file. We called it stock list or something like that. Yeah, this file, open it. I have my column names. That's good. Okay, load it. And now we need to bring in the get request node that Nime has so graciously provided. This is going to query the API once we put in the URL. So my URL is in a table and it's in the column called URL. So that's good to go. Okay. And I need to bring in the JSON to table because um, I, when I, once I run this workflow, I'll show you what it looks like. It does not look like something that you, know, you can very easily decipher. So the, the JSON to table like strips away the JSON hierarchies and all that code and just makes it a nice table that's very easy to understand. So let's just run it up to here. It's going to take a little bit of a while to run, about a minute honestly because it's pulling in information from 50 different companies. But even then it's going to take about a minute and it's a perfect time to go and grab a snack or go like heat up my tea or something. It's one minute I guess to just chill and relax and you know. While that's running, I'm just going to go ahead and drag some other things to the canvas. We 
are almost done guys I am burning up my API request just to show this to you because I have limits I think I have 250 limits per day it's done and it looks like this like there's all these weird things you know I mean actually it doesn't really look bad like this but if you saw it as a structured as a JSON code it doesn't look that much it's not that easy to read but I mean this is not too bad but the JSON to table node cleans it up like you can easily see oh here's my date here's my symbol here's my currency my filing date here's the revenue like that's so nice and juicy now we're going to do a common filter because we we actually have um, income statements for five years and I only want the first year but it's nice to have the whole five years actually so I'm going to filter out the rest columns that I don't need and so I'm going to go into the to the common filter and all this stuff, the URL, status, under type, on name, that has to go. So I have my ticker, my date, my symbol. Okay, that's good. That's what I need. And then basically everything after the link, including the link, because I mean, well, I'll leave the link because this links you to the SEC, to the actual SEC report. So I'll leave that in. But everything here I don't need. So I'm going to put that in exclude so it's going to filter all that out and only give me these things I selected. And I'm going to connect this to the Excel writer. Okay, and I'm going to browse to where I want to save my file. I'm going to save it in my document. I'm going to call it 2020 income statements. Okay, cool. And press OK. And I'm going to run these two guys and let's see what we have. It's already run, like. <laughs> that didn't even take up to a second. Isn't that amazing? Because I'm telling you guys, like, these things are amazing. For real. And the, the file is there, 2020 income statements, which I literally just made. And boom, here you go. Here are your income statements. 450 companies, 420. How long did that take? That didn't take lots of time. Like, you have your revenue, your cost of revenue, gross profit, everything. I feel like my finance professors at YouTube would love something like this. So you have all your information here. Berkshire Hathaway, I guess this may, may need to be a period for this API, so it didn't pull anything, or maybe there shouldn't be an underscore or a period. Anyways, that's, that's, that's just a minor thing. Alright guys, the amazing thing about it being a workflow design is that I could just replace my ticket symbols in that Excel file. My formula is going to calculate my URL. Once I replace the file over a name, it runs everything automatically and I'll have all this information for 50 more companies in one to two minutes. But yeah, that's cool. Thank you for watching. Bye!